William, William, tremble toes. He's a good fisherman, catches hens, puts them in the pens. Wire, blire, limber lock. Three geese in a flock. One flew east, one flew west, one flew over the cuckoo's nest. I heard it when I was five. Grandma Smith was the one that taught it to us. It's about the trickster. It's about McMurphy. It's about the Koshari Indians, or, or the Mudheads, or the Hopis. This is a tarot card. This is the fool, the classic fool, the fool that eventually ends up dead because of his foolishness and, and his devotion to his king or, and his people. That's a sacred position. Crazy has to do with a uh, hard day in July, a long, hot time. You hear every blade of grass screaming for water and the cows are bellowing and you know that it's getting away from you. And it's connected to the earth and to, uh, to your heart. How you feel? Rested. They're trying as hard as they can not to look crazy and not to act crazy. They're trying to converse and laugh when it's time. And when you lose that, when you lose your sense of timing, you may look the same, but inside you know that I have lost something really important to the human soul, and that's crazy. The chief, he sees through a cracked lens, but the world he's looking at is the real world. He's not just projecting, and it's not just something happening in his uh, skull. It's something he sees out there and sees it as it really is, instead of as his mind creates. His perception is what makes that book jump out of the mundane and into something special. And those first three pages of that book, uh, I wrote on peyote. And that's where the Indian character comes from. He is dropped out of society because society has harmed him. And he is backed up into his own little corner and become practically catatonic. God almighty, she's got you guys coming or going. I think she is some kind of a champ or something. No, I thought you were the champ. You want to bet? McMurphy is really a stock hero. He's uh, uh, John Wayne. He's the guy that comes striding into a situation and puts things right. He's a movie star. The guy who comes in is bigger than everybody and, and talks louder than everybody. Ah! And does stuff more wild than everybody. You have to have a few stars to guide yourself through the dark. It's a strike! Kofax's curveball is stabbing off like a fucking firecracker. All right, here he comes with the next pitch. Press, swings, it's a lot of... The way I conceived of the character was it was like he was a negative space on the ward. All these other characters, all this stuff that's going on with the AIDS and the doctor and stuff, it exists, and, and there's something about all the patients are waiting for something to come and fill that area. It, the area is very clearly described, and it's empty. And all you have to do is describe the situation around the area, and pretty soon it begins to fill up. No, he's not a sociopath at all. He's a hero. If you start using sociopath with that, you can go right on into Ulysses, and uh, all of the, the crew are sociopaths. It's not hard to be a good hero without having a little craziness in you. Piss on your fucking rules, Mr. Sit down, will you? There are some rules that are, as he says in the book, are meant to be broken. And there's sometimes you have to second guess authority. That's part of our American tradition. No matter how you try, you can take the guns and the knives away, but violence is something that belongs to them. And when it comes to time to use it, they'll use it. Action. He represents to me the, the clearest evidence of somebody going to some kind of extreme and taking the next correct step. McMurphy takes the correct step. He doesn't take the safe step. There's something in the American soul that says, we're going to take this monster with a tail and throw it over its back and whip it. This is the combine, and this is McMurphy. The villain in Cuckoo's Nest is the combine. It's not the nurse. When you drop it down to being the nurse, you're back into uh, melodrama. Sometimes there are things more important than the welfare of the hero. Often it takes blood to 
shake the consciousness of a people. It often takes more than blood. It, it takes blood and skin and brain cells. People that have a lot invested in the bullshit consciousness have a tremendous scar tissue up over their eyes, and they f fade out when you start showing something that threatens their position.